World Mobile is on a mission to connect Zanzibar, a semi-autonomous island off the coast of Tanzania online through a mobile network built on blockchain technology, making the internet available to the entire population of 1.5 million people. The company announced recently that it had completed the reservation of its 1,000 Earth Nodes blockchain network to connect the Tanzanian islands of Zanzibar and Pemba. Africa 54 technology correspondent Paul Ndiho spoke to Mickey Watkins, the World Mobile Group CEO and founder in Barcelona, Spain. Mickey Watkins, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you very much, Paul. Nice, nice to be with you. You are on a mission to uh, connect the world. You have come up with this uh, technology that is trying to connect the unconnected. Uh, maybe let's start there. We recognize, like many others, that half the world is unconnected. So you have around 3.5 billion people that actually don't have any connectivity or access to connectivity at all. This leads to bad healthcare, um, bad education, uh, poverty, um, and a loss of many opportunities that you would have if you were online. Technology has matured enough. There's a convergence between mindset, and I think that um, we can do this. And I looked deeper into the into the subject, and I saw actually Facebook, Microsoft, Google, um, a lot of big companies were recognizing the need to connect the unconnected. So the reason we chose Africa is because it is the most unconnected continent uh, with the most amount of potential of people that really need connectivity right now. The demand is the highest. So as a business, it made sense to go to Africa. But as a humanitarian global development, it definitely makes sense to provide a solution that connects the, the world. Our solution is a solution for the now and that is sustainable and that can be deployed. So Zanzibar works, it's the rest of the world. But we, we're already in, in negotiations with over 18 different countries. Our team is traveling to, um, to West Africa in the next couple of days. Now we're, we're here today, ready to launch our first dynamic network, a uh, hybrid network from, made up of balloons in the sky. Um, tethered to the grounds and uh, mesh network on the grounds and this is happening in Zanzibar. It's uh, remarkable that uh, in a very short time you've been able to do uh, so much on the ground. Uh, why Zanzibar of all places? So Tanzania is very close to our heart. Um, two of the, the co-founders of World Mobile have uh, lived there and uh, have resided there. Um, it's a beautiful place uh, where around 19 million people are unconnected. And then we looked at Zanzibar and said okay this looks like a perfect place to launch a mini version of the big network. And if we can get it to work in Zanzibar with the aerostat, the balloon in the sky and the mesh network on the ground, we can literally take this model, pick it up, copy and paste and bring it into Tanzania, into Kenya. Now, as I said, in, in the next six months, we'll be launching the first mobile network that is hybrid of this kind. How reliable are those balloons? Uh, uh, I've seen uh, some criticism where they say uh, balloons are not reliable. Uh, but you're saying this is uh, the best solution for a place like Zanzibar, Kenya, and uh, maybe to the larger extent, uh, the, the whole of Africa. When we talk about balloons, we're talking about something specifically called aerostats. Aerostats are balloons that are tethered to the ground. So they go up 300 meters to 1,000 meters. At 300 meters, you have around a 71 kilometer radius of viewing angle. Each aerostat can connect around 100,000 people on the first version. Um, and you can launch you know, 20, 30 aerostats in, in one country. And it's a perfect solution, which costs around 10 times less than the existing mobile network operators. Speaking about uh, mobile uh, uh, network operators uh, in uh, the country, uh, there are so many of them. Uh, how are you going to be able to compete uh, with, uh, quote unquote, the big boys? Good question. So there's 1,000 mobile network operators in the world, uh, maybe a little bit more. They, they cover the connection for around four and a half billion people. There are zero mobile network operators for the unconnected because they're still unconnected. So we're not competing with them. We're going where they can't go. Uh, you know, uh, I'm a fan of a saying that says that if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. Uh, what's the catch? What's in it uh, for you guys? For us as a, as a company, it's a problem worth solving, right? That we bring something different. And we're not the big tech companies that, that are Google or Microsoft or or Facebook. So we're, we're very agile and we've managed to collect a, a fantastic team of people who want to change the world. You're trying to bring in a uh, uh, new technology, for example, blockchain technology. How are you able to, uh, to do that? This is a great question. So Wi-Fi hotspots, as an example, have existed throughout Africa for a long time. Let's talk about the continent. But there's no pickup. 
Why is there no pickup? There's no pickup because just being able to connect to the internet alone, when you cannot identify yourself, limits you again. So the first reason to bring in blockchain was that, that we looked in was for digital identity. So we can enable millions of people to, to bridge the digital divide and gain economic freedom themselves. So once you have an identity, you can then go on to being banked. Once you've been banked, you then have opportunities that, um, that, that you wouldn't have had before. Borrowing money, insurance, all types of, types of things. Well, this will actually put the unconnected on a, on a better foundation of privacy than we've ever had ourselves. Thank you so much for your time, Mickey. Paul, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's been an excellent to be on the show. Thank you. That was Africa 54's tech correspondent Paul Deho speaking to Mickey Watkins, the CEO and founder of the World Mobile.